Okay, if you find yourself working with second gen sequencing data such as Illumina, this is kind of what you'll get back. All right. So this is a standard Illumina run looking at a bunch of different samples. And you'll notice here's our sample name because that's what we sent to the sequencing center. So DM000-10, that'd be the sample name. The R1 is referring to read one, R2 is read two. All right, so those two files there are the forward and reverse, the first and the second read for that particular sample. So each sample has two reads typically. All right, and you'll see that this whole study had a bunch of different samples in it. Well, if I just look around, I've got one sample here, both reads. This is .fastq .gz. Okay, let's first talk about the GZ. That stands for gzipped. That's a compressed file. So remember, if you want to look inside a file, you can say cat. I'll look at the first read, that forward read. And this is what it looks like. Just absolute garbage. That's because it's compressed to this binary format. Well, if I want to take a look at it, the g unzip or the gunzip command can take that gz format and turn it into readable for you, a decompressed version. If I give it the C flag, that means it's not going to change the file, it's just going to spit out the contents. So I'm going to kind of unzip this thing on the fly. There we go. All right, that's a bit much to look at, so I'm going to pipe that whole thing. I'm pushing the up key to see my last thing. To head. All right, there we go. This is a fast Q file. All right, and the Q is for quality, right? So the way fast Q works is it's every four lines. That first line is the name of the read. It's got a bunch of information about where it was on the machine and the name of the run and all that kind of stuff. And then the forward and reverse primers. But that's a unique name for this read. That second line there, it's wrapped around my screen. That's the actual read itself. So those are the base calls, the A, T, C, and G, that were found in that particular strand of DNA. And then there's a spacer. Usually it's just a plus with nothing else. And then the fourth line are the quality scores. So a quality score of A refers to some probability of certainty that that T actually is a T. Quality score of the at symbol is some other probability of that A being an A. All right, so there's an equivalent quality score for each one of these bases here. Okay, And then it just repeats itself. The second read, the name, the actual read, the spacer, and the quality score. Okay, So that's fast Q. Now if I look around at my files again, you see it hasn't changed. Okay. If I want to go ahead and change it, I can just say gun zip. Give it that file name without that C flag for G unzip. And now if I look around, there you can see it's removed the .gz. And if I just say head, you can see it's uncompressed. Okay. So that's fast Q format. And that's probably the most common type of genetic data that you'll be seeing. It's this fast Q format. It's every four lines. Okay. And those quality scores can come in handy for us, but sometimes we don't need them. Um, and you'll often see DNA data in the fast A format. So I can use the seek TK.
tool, give it the A flag, which means output, force it to output in fast A format. And I'll pipe that to head. Okay. Unrecognize command A, of course. So I'm going to say head seek tk. Oh, yeah. I had to tell it that I'm working with sequence data and want to transform it. There we go. Okay. So this is fast A format, FASTA. And it's, it differs in that it's in every other line instead of every four lines. It's just the name of the sequence and then the sequence. The name of the next sequence and then the next sequence all the way down. Okay. So let's say I wanted to save a FASTA version of each of these. First, I'll unzip that reverse read. Okay, so I've got my fast Q files. Great. I can say seek TK seek a DM mock our first read and then just pipe it right into DM mock R1. Go back and change that fast a uh to a fast or fast Q to a fast A. Alright, so now I've got a fast A version. It's just removed the quality scores. Okay. Um, you can see that it takes up about half the amount of space, which makes sense. It's not duplicating all that information with quality scores as well. Now if I want to compress that, I can say gzip. Give it that file. And now look at that. It's down to 1.1 megabytes instead of 25 for the fast day. So that's compressed.